Hello everyone. In this session, we will take up first type of tissue that is present in the plant body, which is meristematic tissue. In this tissue, cells are immature. Cells are immature. Cells are immature and they divide actively. They divide actively. Okay. And the term meristematic tissue is first time coined by Karl Nageli. Karl Nageli. In the year 1858, Karl Nageli given the term meristems. Meristems. That's why meristematic tissue is also called meristems. Next, this cell shows active divisions. That means they divide and redivide to produce new cells. They produce new cells. Produce new cells. In this way, they promote the growth of the plant body. They, they promote growth. Promote growth in the plant body. Okay. These meristematic tissues are found only in higher plants they are found in higher vascular plants higher vascular plants they are absent in lower vascular plants like algae fungi okay they are found only in higher vascular plants like angiosperms next coming to characters of meristems characters characters of meristem what are the characters of meristem in the first one coming to their size coming to their size they are smaller in size small in size coming to their shape they are polyhedral or they are polyhedral in shape polyhedral otherwise they are cuboidal in shape cuboidal or polyhedral in shape cells are closely arranged without intercellular spaces cells are closely arranged closely arranged without intercellular spaces this is a polyhedral shaped cell and this is another one in this way, cells are closely arranged without intercellular spaces and they have thin cell walls. This is cell wall. Cell wall. Thin cell wall is present. Cell wall is made up of with cellulose. Cell wall is made up of with cellulose. In order to the cell wall, there is dense cytoplasm. Dense cytoplasm is present in the cells. In the center of the cell, a big conspicuous nucleus is present. In the center of the cell, conspicuous big nucleus is present. Number of small vacuoles are also present in the uh, cytoplasm. Small vacuoles are present. Next, proplastid also found in the cytoplasm. Proplastids. They develop into plastids. After some period of time, these proplastids are developed into plastid. Such structures are also found in the cytoplasm. And they show active divisions. They show active divisions. Active divisions. This is about characters of meristem. Next, meristematic tissue is classified into various types based on their position based on their origin, based on their plane of division and based on their function. Now I will discuss one by one now. Okay. And then first one, classification of meristem. Classification. Classification of meristematic tissue. First one, based on their origin. Based on origin meristematic tissues are divided into mainly two types they are number one primary meristems primary meristems and second type is 
secondary meristems secondary meristems come to first one primary meristems primary meristems are uh, formed at embryonic stages they are formed at embryonic stages and they are remain active in the mature plant body primary meristems are formed at embryonic stages and they are remain active in the mature plant body and they are mainly found in uh, vascular bundles and tips of roots and shoots they are found at tips or apical pods example apical tips next they are also uh, present in the vascular bundles they are present in the vascular bundles next coming to second type secondary meristem secondary meristems are formed from permanent tissues they are formed from permanent tissues and they are not formed at embryonic stages they are not present at embryonic stages they are present uh, formed from permanent tissues and uh, they are found in carcamium and intervascular cambium intervascular or intervascular cambium examples for secondary meristem are intervascular cambium and cork cambium cork cambium these two are examples for secondary meristem this is about types of meristem based on their origin next second classification based on the position based on position based on position meristematic tissues are classified into mainly three types they are number 1 apical meristem apical meristem second type is intercalary meristem intercalary meristem and third type is lateral meristem lateral meristem okay next first one coming to apical meristem this is a plant body mm. you imagine that this is the primary plant body in the primary plant body lateral branches are also present apical tips are tips are also present in the plant body coming to first type based on their position apical meristem apical meristem is present at the root tips and shoot tips they are present at the root tips and shoot tips branches and stems apical tips apical tips and coming to function of apical meristem they they are useful in uh, increasing in length of the plant body increasing in length of the plant body otherwise they help in linear growth linear growth of plant body linear growth of plant okay next coming to intercalary meristem intercalary meristem these meristems are present between two permanent tissues present between two permanent tissues two permanent tissues and they are separated from apical meristems during the course of growth during the course of growth intercalary meristems are separated from apical meristems and these apical meristems are mainly present at the base of the internodes for example this is a node this is a another node at the base of internodes intercalary meristems are present these are the bases at the base of the meristem intercalary sorry at the base of the nodes intercalary meristems are present they are also found at the base of uh, leaf sheaths of grasses they are present at the base of base of leaf 
sheets of grasses leaf sheet of grasses okay and they are also useful in linear growth of stem and linear growth of leaves okay this is about function of intercalary meristem next coming to lateral meristem lateral meristem this lateral meristem is present lateral to the plant body for example this is plant body in the plant body it is present lateral sides these are the lateral sides on the lateral side this meristem is present this means lateral meristem is present it is present lateral sides of plant body lateral sides of plant body okay what is the use of this lateral meristem in the plant body they are useful in increasing in the girth of the plant body increasing in the width of the plant body they are mainly uh, i'm writing here they help in help in increase in the width increasing width of plant body okay and they are mainly found in secondary tissues for example they are present in the vascular bundles and they produce secondary xylem and secondary phloem and uh, this meristem is this meristem is also found in uh, carchemium and periderm that is responsible for the formation of cork bark and periderm okay this is about um, position next coming to based on plane of division meristematic tissue is divided into mainly three three types based on plane of division plane of division meristematic tissue is classified into three types they are number 1 plate meristem plate meristem and second type is rib meristem rib meristem and third type is mass meristem mass meristem okay in that first one plate meristem in this meristem cells divide anticlinally cells divide anticlinally anticlinally that means they shows anticlinal divisions that means they divide perpendicular to the cell surface this is the cell surface they divide perpendicular they shows perpendicular divisions example periderm 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 divides perpendicular to the cell surface and they form epidermis okay next coming to rib meristem rib meristem in this meristematic cells divide periclinally they divide periclinally periclinal here periclinal divisions are occur in the meristematic tissue that means they divide parallel to the cell surface they divide parallel to the cell surface example periblem periblem okay that means they forms ground tissues okay next coming to third type mass meristem in this cells divide all planes they divide all planes all planes they may be divide periclinally or anticlinally or slantly etc okay example for mass meristem are endosperm endosperm and embryo these are the examples for mass meristem which is found in these parts okay next another one more division one more classification is also there for meristematic tissue based on their function based on function meristematic tissue is divided into three types they are first one is protoderm protoderm 
and second type is procambium procambium and third type is ground meristem ground meristem in this protoderm protoderm divides anticlinally and that forms epidermis epidermis okay next prokambium prokambium divides to produce cambium or vascular tissues vascular tissues next coming to ground meristem ground meristem forms ground tissues ground tissues like cortex cortex parenchyma colenchyma medulla this all are formed by ground meristems this is about a uh, meristematic tissue this is about meristematic tissue in the next class i will come with another type of tissue thank you